sauerkraut production and the science behind it. So let's get started. What you'll need is a measuring spoon, a knife, a spoon, a mason jar, big bowl, fermenting lid, cabbage obviously, as well as pickling salt. Now you want to make sure that the salt you're using does not contain any iodine, um, as you can see right here, since it will inhibit the growth of lactic acid bacteria and precipitate out and you'll get a cloudy liquid which is very unfavorable. The first thing you want to do is take your cabbage and remove the top leaves in order to remove any kind of bacteria that could be present on the surface of the cabbage. Now when you reach the more moist part of the leaves, you want to take one off and keep it on the side since it will be used as your top leaf to weigh down the cabbage. Now once this is done, you want to cut your cabbage in half and remove the core and this is a very important step since the core contains high levels of sucrose which can lead to dextrin formation by leuconostoc mesenteroids resulting in a slimy texture which is very undesirable. The next step is to shred the cabbage and put it into the mixing bowl and add 4 teaspoons of salt. The salt here is added to achieve two main objectives. One, to extract cabbage juice from the leaves to make the sugars and nutrients from the cabbage readily available for the lactic acid bacteria. And two, to keep non-lactic acid bacteria from spoiling the cabbage since they're less resistant to moderate amounts of salt. You then want to start massaging it onto the cabbage and you'll notice that a lot of liquid will come out and collect at the bottom and this liquid is known as brine. You then want to start filling up your mason jar with the cabbage salt mixture and you want to fill it up to about 80%. When you fill up the jar you want to pack it down so that the brine comes out and fully covers all the cabbage shreds. And it is very important that all the cabbage is covered with brine to maintain an aerobic environment. Take the piece of cabbage you teared off at the beginning and place it on top of the rest of the cabbage shreds and press to weigh them down. This cabbage leaf needs to be underneath the brine solution, like the rest of the cabbage shreds. This is important since the bacteria more readily ferment the cabbage that is under the brine than the cabbage sticking out in the air. And this is also done to prevent any spoilage microorganisms from growing. And the last step is to fill up your fermentation airlock with about 50% full of water and screw it on. It is a one-way valve that allows gases like carbon dioxide created during fermentation to escape while preventing oxygen, bacteria, or other spoilage microorganisms from creating mold. All you want to do now is keep the jar at 22 degrees for 21 days and here you have it, a fermented vegetable product which contains lots of good nutrients.